Do you love swimming at the beach or playing outdoors with friends? How about the change in seasons? Well, all of these things are made possible by the sun. And today, we're going to learn all about the sun, what it does and how it works, as well as why it's so important to our daily lives, as well as the planet. So stay tuned and learn all about what that big yellow ball of fire in the sky really is. The sun is a star made of burning gas. It's closer to us than any other star. The sun gives life to the earth. And if there was no sun, the earth would have no life. It would almost be like a frozen wasteland. In order for there to be any life at all, we need the sun's energy. The sun controls our seasons. It controls how and when foods grow. It even controls when we are asleep and awake. The sun is the largest thing in our solar system. It makes up 98% of the matter in the solar system. Because of its size, it has a strong gravitational pull. It keeps the earth, the stars, the moons, and all of the other planets in line. Without the gravity of the sun, the earth would actually go spinning off into space. Now compared with the billions of other stars in our universe, the sun is really unremarkable. But for Earth and the other planets that revolve around it, the sun is a powerful center of attention. It holds the solar system together, provides life giving light, heat and energy to the Earth, and generates space weather. If you were to fill a hollow sun with a bunch of our Earth's, it would take around 960,000 planet Earth's to fit inside the sun. The temperature of the sun is around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The inner core is much hotter. So to understand what that means, a day of 90 degree weather feels really hot to us. And water boils at 212 degrees. And the sun is 10,000. The sun's light reaches the earth in about eight minutes. This is known as the speed of light. But don't look directly at the sun. It can really hurt your eyes. Scientists study the sun through special filtered telescopes. The atmosphere of the sun is composed of three layers. The photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. The photosphere is the lowest layer of the sun's atmosphere and emits the light that we see. It is about 300 miles or 500 kilometers thick. And although most of the light comes from its lowest third, temperatures in the photosphere range from 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 6,125 degrees Celsius at the bottom to 7,460 degrees Fahrenheit or 4,125 degrees Celsius at the top. Next up is the chromosphere, which is even hotter, up to 35,500 degrees Fahrenheit, or 19,725 degrees Celsius. It is apparently made up entirely of spiky structures, typically some 600 miles or 1,000 kilometers across, and 6,000 miles to 10,000 kilometers high. After that is the transition region a few hundred to a few thousand miles thick, which is heated by the corona. The corona runs far hotter than the photosphere, hitting temperatures of, ready for this, more than a million degrees Fahrenheit. But how the corona gets so hot remains a scientific mystery. So you might be wondering, how old is the sun? Well, scientists believe the sun is 4.5 billion years old. It is a relatively young star, part of a generation known as Population One. And our sun is already about halfway through its lifetime. Now for a few facts about the distance of the sun from the Earth. The sun is closer to the Earth than any other star. It is approximately 391 times as far from the Earth as the Moon is. 
And did you know that the sun's distance from the earth changes at different points during the year? The sun is 30,000 light years away from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Like many energy sources, the sun will not last forever, almost like a battery. It has already used up nearly half of the hydrogen in its core. The sun will continue to burn through the hydrogen for another 5 billion years or so, and then helium will become its primary fuel. At that point, the sun will expand to about a hundred times its current size, swallowing Mercury and Venus and maybe even Earth. It will burn as a red giant star for another billion years and then collapse into a white dwarf star. Luckily for all of us, that is a long, long, long time from now. Now we get to enjoy the sun during all seasons of the year, especially spring and summer. So now you learned how important the sun is, as well as what the sun really is. So I have to ask a question. Did you learn something new today? I hope you did, and we hope you enjoyed learning with us today as well. So if you did, can you do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button for me? All right, cool, thanks. And if you did enjoy this video, we have a lot more that you'll find really cool too. So why don't you hit that subscribe button and click that bell too, and that way you'll know as soon as we put up a new video for you to learn some new facts about. And one last thing before I forget. Do you know why the sun never went to college? Because it already has a million degrees. <laughs> well, that's it for today. We hope that you get some time to enjoy the sun and see you soon on the next video. Bye-bye, all you awesome YouTube friends. <laughs>